is multi-channel. Customers, uh, they're going to love your website. They're going to love the experience out there. But the bottom line is customers uh, will also have different ways they want to interact. They may call you up. Uh, they may come into your store. Uh, but the idea is you know, the customer is going to have their choice of how they want to interact with you. And it may vary on a daily basis and a weekly or just according to what the need of the purchase or shopping is at that time. But the idea is you need to be able to handle a multi-channel environment, whether it's whether it's offline or in store, whether it's over the phone, whether it's web store, maybe some of these people actually buy by email or even if it's a business to business environment they may have EDI or automated buying, but they need to be able to manage these multiple channels and all that interaction needs to go back to one account. So they may be able to go to these different uh, channels and be able to interact with you, but it all has to come back and you have to track that interaction and not have that, those in isolation. So if somebody shops online and calls you up, you understand what they looked at. You also look what their purchase history is. You know, if they come in the store and want to return something, well, you have a record of what was bought online or, or shipped otherwise. But the, the bottom line is, whatever the channel, you're keeping track of all that in a seamless, uh, unified view out there. And one of the other things we've seen uh, is now is the advent of, of more channels that are online. So we talked about the web store, but there's an awful lot of people in the community now that are actually going and not just using the traditional channels, but we're also seeing more marketplace capability. So with eBay, you know, what once was for collecting Beanie Babies and different capabilities like that, we're seeing a whole host of products that people are using eBay as an additional channel now for selling directly to consumers and also selling to businesses out there. Maybe in an auction environment and direct sales, but the bottom line is eBay and other online marketplaces are growing and you need to be able to have a central view of that instead of stream as a completely separate business. I think goes with that is you know one thing is while we talk about having the customers come and interact with you, uh, one thing we're able to do is not only handle the inbound uh, search things like that, but what we do is we also are able to push out and share a lot of the, the marketing uh, of your products into the, the comparison shopping engine. So we talk about the eBay being an online marketplace, but don't forget about a lot of the interaction out there with uh, Shopping.com, Shopzilla, and all the different you know, Yahoo stores and everything that are out there. The bottom line is you need to be as visible as possible, so we're going to maximize that visibility, the relationship among those different channels, but bring it all back to a single account so you can make sense and have a very seamless uh, approach to fulfilling the, the different parts of the business. Which really brings us to our, to our next, next subject. You know, we talk about what's going on out there in the, the shopping experience, the you know the the one to one relationship you're gonna have out there and all the great things like that. But what's gonna make or break your, your customer experience and can take you from being a, a very high touch uh, relationship and servicing them very well to have the whole thing fall apart like a house of cards is a is, is really the, the sales fulfillment, customer support, but then the the customer life cycle out there. And if you think about it, this is pretty typical life cycle out there is going on shopping online uh, create a web order, you know, pick back and ship to be able to fulfill it, and then you, you ship that. Uh, the invoice that goes out there if you're in a B2B environment or, you know, credit card has already been processed if you're selling most consumer goods or to other businesses. And in the end, there may be some customer service. How do you interact with people out there? But the bottom line is that's how business is performed, and that's how you want to portray that relationship with your customers. But let me tell you, the software that is out there for you to use, and this should be no secret to you because you're probably in this position now, is that software is built for discrete tasks, you know, for shopping online. It could be a website. There's probably another package for actually managing your web store or your checkout or your shopping cart. Another package could manage your inventory, your shipping. You probably all also have to toggle away to FedEx or UPS to be able to manage the shipments. You know, you have an accounting package that manages credit card payments or invoices, however you want to do that. And then, you know, you may even have spreadsheets or a simple interaction tool or software piece for customer service out there. But the bottom line is, well, if you look across this top business process flow with the customer life cycle, you know, we have this isolation, these discrete activities going on in the software, and they really don't talk to each other. So what's the, what's, what's the resulting position? Well, this is probably a hodgepodge many of you face out there when you're running your business. Like we said, you may have an accounting package, shipping, web store, website, uh, sales source automation for your live sales, and also some of the marketplace activity. But again, it's really islands of automation, but to get that seamless flow of the activity out there, you've got to find a way to piece that together. 
Now the challenge out there is, you know, you're an e-commerce business. You may have come from retail. You may even have catalog things like that. But I guarantee you're not, you're not in the IT business and you're not in the software business. So this challenge of bringing all this together is very costly. It's very complex, and you really have no business doing that. You're really focused on serving customers, having great products and service, not really being in the software industry. And that's one of the main reasons that we came about, because we said, you know, this is just nonsense, making small, mid-sized businesses build and, and piece this whole thing together. There's a better way. We call that NetSuite. And the idea is to take, instead of having those multiple pieces of software and forcing you to do all that, well, we are in the software business. We are in the service delivery business. We're going to create an, an integrated package or application that manages the front office, all the customer-facing activities, the back office, so your accounting, your purchasing, your inventory, uh, all your billing and things like that. And then the other side is you know, we're, we uniquely have integrated e-commerce capability for the website and web store and also the self-service capabilities. So instead of having to go out there and, and you know, piece that whole thing together and taking a lot of resources away from your, your customer-facing activities, uh, you know, we give you NetSuite that you don't have to go through that process. The idea being, you know, if you think back to that, that, that flow out there, that life cycle we want, well, you can manage that end-to-end -end capability and integrated suite of applications. And the idea is the system will do the work for you and support that end-to-end -end life cycle that supports your high-touch relationship out there. Instead of having it all fall apart, uh, once it actually has to be fulfilled, you know, we support that end-to-end -end capability. Now, we talked about <clears throat> the fact that you can have the, the beautiful, rich website experience, very high-touch there. We talked about having multiple websites, the multi-language, multi-currency. We also talked about the importance of the ability to manage multi-channel and even the, the online marketplaces. But the bottom line is the importance of NetSuite out there is managing all this, but pulling it back, like we said, this idea of a central brain. And what happens if you get all the information in one place, so we talked about all those activities going on there, it comes back to a single customer account. But what you're going to get with NetSuite is a single view of the customer. You know, if they come to your branded site, if they buy from you on eBay, if they come into a store, if they call you up on the phone, but the bottom line is all the communications and <clears throat> interactions and everything captured in a single customer record out there. The bottom line is no matter who they interact with in your company, you know, if, like we said, if you shopped online and you later came into the store or you sent somebody an email, well, you know, chances are different people are going to interact with different people across that space. With NetSuite, everybody has visibility across all those different interactions. So instead of having to transfer you or say, well, I'll get back to you, they can work with you and have a very seamless uh, discussion and, and support of you. The other thing is you have a complete transaction and purchase history. And what that helps to do is, you know, serve and sell more of what the people want and need and be able to maximize.